must be wondering what is so special about these plants. They look like just any other plants, but hang on. Did you notice something different? Where is the soil? We all know that plants get nutrients from soil, but how are these plants growing without soil? Hydroponics is a farming technique in which plants are grown in water, but not just any water, in nutrient-rich water. The technique was developed by Dr. Gerrick, a professor working in the University of California in 1924. It is gaining popularity in India among urban dwellers who are using the medium to make an entry into small to mid-scale farming. Hydroponics was mainly developed to reduce the use of land and water for agriculture. For example, in India, more than 80% of groundwater is used for agriculture. Already, this is leading to a drastic dip in groundwater levels across the country. To address this issue, Indian Institute of Horticulture Research, Bengaluru, started research and training programs on hydroponics in 2021. Normally, we use around 4 to 5 litres per square metre for any crop for, per day. In hydroponics, it will work out to be around 600 ml per square metre. That is almost around 60 to 70 percent save of water is there. This is Bharat, an IT employee. During COVID lockdown, he started using hydroponics to grow greens in his balcony. An activity which started as a hobby soon became Bharat's career. Today, he runs a hydroponics lab called Hydro Garden. So first, I heard about the name hydroponics when I was watching TV and then it got me interested. I started doing more research towards it. I started doing this at home during COVID time. I could see the result that I was able to grow and then I started doing some marketing research as well. Uh, and then I got the confidence that yes, there is demand for such produce. I got a piece of land and that's how the journey began. So we started building this in September 2021. So we set up the greenhouse and we set up the hydroponic system. And now we have a full-fledged commercial hydroponic farm. This is what a hydroponics farm looks like. The installation of outer structure is the first step while building a hydroponics farm. The outer structure, usually a poly house, protects the crops from pest attacks and changing weather conditions. Next, the farm needs a growing system to hold the plants. Food grade PVC pipes are used for this. A controlled temperature system is also vital in hydroponics farm. It maintains optimum temperature for the growth of crops and continuously monitors the moisture. For example, if it gets hot inside the polyhouse, shades emerge to reduce the temperature. Foggers are used to maintain moisture inside the polyhouse. And lastly, irrigation is installed to provide nutrient-rich water. 1000 square meter is the best model to fit into the hydroponics. So for uh, to raise one one fourth of an acre, 1000 square meter, so you require approximately a, a, 30 lakhs for uh, you know like growing polyhouse for construction of polyhouse another 30 lakhs for structures and these things so you may have to invest around 60 lakhs in the beginning at this time of doing the setup i was doing my research first thing i realized is it is very expensive and the second thing i realized is that we don't get subsidy unless we own the land and even if we own the land we get the subsidy only for the outer structure and not for the inside part of the hydroponics once all systems are up and running, the actual farming begins. Just like any other farming system, seeds come first. Since hydroponics is a soilless farming system, a grow media is used to sow seeds. Coco peat is one such grow media which is widely used by farmers. The seeds are placed inside a coco peat filled tray. Water with added nutrients is sprayed. The seeds germinate on the third day. On the 15th day, the sprouts are taken out and the roots are cleaned. Even a speck of growing media can clog the pipes. The plants are then transferred to a net cup. These support the plant weight and hold it upright. Finally, the cups are fitted inside the PVC pipes. With this kind of uh, pipe setup, that is DFT, the ideal plants to grow is all lettuces, all exotics, for example, pok choy, kale, celery. And when we come to Indian greens, we can grow palak, mint, coriander and so on. So this setup is ideal for leafy greens. 
Now the most important aspect of hydroponics, the nutrients. Various nutrients as per plant requirements are weighed in desired proportions and added to a drum of water. This solution is then poured to the main water tank, then pumped into the farm. 16 nutrients are required for the plants. Since we are giving the nutrients everything through fertilizers, that they are called water soluble fertilizers, the plant can grow and absorb very well and they can, the yield is exceptionally very high compared to the soil. People will ask, you know, like, uh, whether the nutrient system, nutrient value is same or not. Yes, we have tried the nutrient values of the uh, whatever which we are growing in both the soil as well as the hydroponics and uh, we, we, they are all on for, there is no, absolutely there is no difference. There are many diseases which comes in the soil. So these soil diseases will not be there in the hydroponics. Compared to traditional farming, hydroponics uses less land and less water. What is significant is that there is no compromise on the quantity of produce that is harvested. As being from an urban or an IT background, we are not uh, skilled or we don't have the physical power to go to the land and plow the land or cultivate in open land for four acres. But when we do the same thing inside a greenhouse with hydroponics, what we can achieve in four acres of land, I'm able to achieve that in one fourth of an acre. The return of investment that we get from this 10,000 square feet of hydroponic farm is about 3,000 to 3,500 rupees per day. And this calculation I'm arriving at is considering we are selling lettuces every day, 45 to 50 kgs on a daily basis at 70 rupees per kg. Even though Bharat is happy with his farm, he says that the lack of marketing and demand for his produce are the major concerns. challenge with the market currently is that we don't find that consistent buyer who can buy from us throughout the year. Uh, they only buy from us when they do not get the yield from traditional farming. So that is, we, we get the market only during the summer or during the monsoon. Or once the monsoon is completed, then again they go back to the traditional farmers because they get it at a little lower cost. Probably if you, in Bangalore, if you see, most of the greens which are coming from Moscote or even from far, far places, they travel almost 60 to 70 kilometers, uh, you know, and a lot of nutrients are wasted in during that. So here, the biggest advantage here is you are growing these things in a center of the where the people are consuming it. And your food mile is not even, even 100 meters or 200 meters. That is why now slowly this hydrophonics is picking up in urban and peri-urban horticulture. Elsewhere, you know, like whether it you take Israel or America or uh, uh, Japan, Korea, these things are already there. But in India so far, it was not picked up. But slowly now, you know, like uh, in Bangalore alone, more than 20 to 30 commercial units have come up and they are now supplying it to the different uh, uh, flats or you know different consumers do you think hydroponics will take off in india in a big way let us know in the comments if you like the video don't forget to like and share and remember to subscribe to deccan herald's youtube channel for more